Hey, what's up, fam? Today, I thought I would show you how to use PS4 9.00 trainers so that you can cheat or modify your in-game elements. Let's do this right now. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and let's run the exploit again. I just rebooted this PlayStation 4. So I'm going to click on where it says Golden, and it's going to go to our loading message. There's not enough free memory. Hit OK there. Now we're going to need to insert our USB stick. And there it goes. The USB storage device file is unsupported. And once that disappears, we're going to hit OK and pull out our USB stick. Okay, so Gold Hen has been loaded at this point. Go ahead and launch the game that you're going to want to use a trainer on. So I'm going to pick Uncharted. This is my very first time setting it up on this PlayStation 4, so I'm just going to speed up the video here. And now we're going to go into Story Mode. And by the way, you don't have to go as far as I'm going right now. Just go ahead and make sure you launch the game. Okay, so the game has been loaded, and now at this point, what we want to do is we're going to want to hit the home button and get out of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that now. Click on the options button for the game, and then scroll on down to where it says information down at the bottom. And on this screen, look for where it says the version number. So my version, I just installed this, it's at 1.00. Now head back over to your web browser and click on where it says Web RTE. Okay, so again, I left this error in there just so you could see the errors and how to fix them. Go to settings, back up to gold hen, and put a check mark in these top two. Okay, back to our browser. Again, we're going to be clicking on Web RTE. And this time it has a payload received and payload loaded. Okay, so when you see PS4 Trainer ported, and then this visit ps4trainer.com, then you're in good shape. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in a URL here, but that's gonna be karo218.ir, and then R2, and it should load up. Now we're going to go to PS4 Trainer Offline. So click that button, and you should see this page. So I'm going to do a search for Lost here, and it should bring up the Uncharted, the Lost Legacy. Okay, so we see down at the bottom, there's a couple of different versions here. So we've got 1.0, we've got some 1.8s. Okay, so before we can launch the trainer, we need to go in and we need to type in what is our PS4's network IP address. So let's go ahead and do that now. While I'm typing this in, one thing that I wanted you to know is, is that you can always go to ps4trainer.com and run the trainer on something such as another web browser. You may even want to go to it on your phone. I know they've got an Android app. So you don't have to use this web interface that I'm showing you right here in order to load a trainer. So I've got my IP address in there. Now I'm just going to go down to Uncharted. I'm just going to pick the first one. I really don't know the difference between the two, but I'm just going to pick the first one. It does say trainer has been attached. And then there is a dev menu. And so we're going to toggle that. And this is going to allow us to have all the features and functionalities that developers had when they were building this game. So after that's complete, we're going to hit close. And now we just need to go back into our game. So here we are, we're in the game and there is a quick menu here. So you could do things like memory allocation, uh, there's also this dev menu, a display. You can change the difficulty in this menu. There is also this thing like completed difficulties. So I'm guessing it unlocks extra things in the game uh, if you complete it on ultra hard. Okay, so I went in and I found this option to give player a weapon. And I didn't really know which one of these addresses maps to what weapon. But I did figure out that... If you play around with those, uh, if it shows a red, then that means that that weapon's not available. But if it flashes yellow, then it is available. So here I just spawned a shotgun. 
I uh, turned on like a couple of different options in here and I can go down and I believe there is another weapon. Uh, there we go. We've got a machine gun there. All right. So there it is. You can spawn weapons as you would like. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other videos on the PS4 jailbreak. We've been installing Gen 2. We've been installing Arch. I walked you through my FAQ as well as how to jailbreak this with a couple of different methods. If you want to know how to install patches, I have that covered as well. Just go check it out and I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.